Riot Fest 2014. I'm Lauren with 101 WKQX, and I mean, this is probably one of the biggest moments of my whole life so far because it's Les Claypool and Larry from Primus. I was giving you the, I was giving you the, uh, the encore for, claim for sh some Should I play something? Yes. <laughs> you should. Actually. Your biggest hit. <laughs> now that's your biggest hit. It is? I'm pretty sure. One of them. Um, seriously, it is a huge honor. And how is Tim? He's doing great, actually. Um, you know, we did a show last night here in town, and our good friend Danny Carey from Tool came out and took Herb's spot mm -hmm. for these couple shows. Um, but we had Herb up on the big screen the whole time, so yeah. we could we could see him. Well, on the <laughs> astronaut's face. So That's he's cool. doing great. He's he had his surgery. He's you know he's like a he's he's like a Viking, you know. Or, so it's uh, it was surprising that he even had issues to begin with, but you know, genetics are a, are a fickle thing to deal with, so. I feel like all of you guys have a little bit of Viking blood. Yeah? I hope so. I need some form of special blood. Yeah. Um, so I've already pre-ordered my copy of the book that's coming out on Tuesday. You see, now you're gonna lose all respect for us. Oh, for, I'm gonna learn all the you're dirt. Learn I'm gonna be all like, the dirt oh, these guys the are such. I can't believe I even talked to those guys. Yeah. I'm I'm really excited about it because, I mean, you guys have been a band for 30 years, and that's frightening. There has really? to be so much. <laughs> <laughs> See, you learned something here today. Christ. You should read the yeah. book. Like, yeah, there's probably stuff in the book that you don't even know. That's very true. All right, can you give me a little nugget? I just smoked the last nugget I had. <laughs> hey! Oh. Um, what kind of nugget? What do you mean? Uh, a little glimpse from the book. A little, a little taste. Maybe a little bit of a story. Well, Larry actually used to be a woman. Really? I didn't read that part. Oh. See, I learned what something today, too. Years. That's a nugget. That's a nugget for you. I can't expect that you guys are going to remember everything, you know? Um, yes, it's actually a, it's a very humorous read because it's a uh, talking heads book, you know, interviews with various people and even people not necessarily famous, but some famous folks, but uh, some people that were there in the beginning and remembered things that uh, have falling, have fallen out of my, you know, hard drive. Okay. And uh, so some of these stories are pretty, pretty humorous. I'll leave it at that. Okay. Is there any oyster head stuff in there? Because I saw that Trey and Stuart were in the book. There's some oyster head okay. stuff in there, yes. Interesting. That was one of my first concerts. Really? In college. Ah. In Gainesville. And this will be my first Primus concert really? in person. Yes. Uh -huh. So I'm very excited. Now we better not mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't screw it up. Um, but there's, there's a lot going on this weekend as far as like bands celebrating it seems like these seminal years for you guys 30 years it's riot fest 10th anniversary there's 10 bands doing 10 classic albums and i'm curious 10 bands doing 10 classic albums yeah. really to celebrate the whole 10 thing it's it's simpatico huh. all right so i'm curious is there any albums for you guys that stick out that really kind of influenced you and made you really want to get into music way back in the day way back in the day or last week. You were like, hey, maybe I'll give this band thing a try. <laughs> uh, you know, I was one of those guys that uh, didn't really have any money. And they had that RCA record thing in the back of the magazines where you could pay a penny and you'd get 10 records. Yeah. And so I got my 10 records and those were pretty much the only 10 records I had. And I, uh, I got 10 CDs. So yeah, see, I'm an old guy. <laughs> <laughs> Like RCA one penny album soulmates because that was where I got Rush counterparts. I'm pretty sure that's where I got pork soda. Yeah, I'm like an old man. Now, did you follow through on the rest of it? Where you have to buy like ten uh, albums or something. With them. Yeah, I think I got screwed. <laughs> I got screwed and I was young, so I didn't have a job yet, and I think my mom ended up having to pay for. Everybody's a that's how it went. Yeah. Yeah. That was the whole yeah. deal of it. Such a rip off. But hey. That's how it opens really, doors for yeah. you, and then your parents it bail you out. It opens doors into terrible credit, <laughs> among other things. So, any anything for you particular? I think all of us. Rush was probably as far as like playing and stuff. You know, when we all three came together. That was like that's the one band we're like, yeah, Rush. And Brothers Johnson. Okay. Cool. So the new album, Primus and the Chocolate Factory with the Fungi Ensemble. Yes. Who is the Fungi Ensemble? I had my last record was 
uh, of fungi and faux. Okay. And I had Mike Dillon on vibes, marimba, and junkyard percussion, and then Sam Bass was playing cello. So I brought those guys in to help fill out, you know, because to take on the Wonka soundtrack, the three of us, I think it would have been a little, it was, it was already daunting, but just the three of us, it would have been, you know, trying to make a cake with just an egg and some flour, you know, you needed, you needed some more things. So uh, we brought those fellows in and it's, it's actually pretty spectacular. I'm was this on it. recorded at Rancho Relaxo? Rancho Relaxo, yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, so it's coming out October And all this 21st. old vintage gear that you have to kick every now and again <laughs> to get it to work properly. So what kind of, what's like the oldest, weirdest piece of equipment that you have there? Lure Lalonde. Yep. <laughs> I feel all of those categories. Oh man, you're just getting like the brunt of it. Yeah, hey, I'm used to it. It's, it's the way it works. Someone's <laughs> got to be lightning rod around here. All right. Lightning rod. <laughs> that was our first bus driver. That's right. It's in the His book. His name was lightning. <gasps> See, there's, and there's a, a nugget. nugget. Yeah, nuggets. Finally. See, I'm dropping nuggets like nobody's business. <laughs> in in more ways than one. Well, like I know you guys have like a show to play in just a couple minutes, so I cannot tell you what an honor it is. Les Claypool and Larry from Primus. Be kind. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, cool. hopefully we'll check let it out. You down. Oh yeah, that's I'm done.